where the wild things are. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another. Look, he's chasing the dog. Everybody see that? He's got a fork in his hand, like he's going to eat the dog. We've got a hand over there. His mother <laughs> called him wild thing. And Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. Everybody see that? They can't see over oh, there. Oh, sorry. There it is. He was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. Look. And grew. And grew. Until his ceiling hung with vines and walls became the world all around. Look at that. Look what happened to his room. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max, and he sailed off through night and day. And in and out of weeks, and almost over a year to where the wild things are. Do you everybody see the wild thing? Look at that. That's a, that's a wild thing. <laughs> it's like a dragon looking wild thing. <laughs> and when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars ah. and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still, and tame them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. Can everybody do that? Try, try staring without blinking. That's good. That, this one, she's good. That's a good one. Without blinking once. Good. And they were frightened Stop. and called him the most wild thing of all. <laughs> and made him king of all the wild things. Are and you now, losing one over there? He's yawning. <laughs> and now, cried Max, let, <laughs> let the wild rumpus start. <laughs> so this was them in the wild rumpus. <laughs> They, they were howling and they were dancing in the wild rumpus. Have you guys ever been in a wild rumpus? I'll bet you guys, you guys look like you have a wild rumpus all the time. Look at them, they're swinging off trees. Look at that. And they're howling at the moon. Look, look at that. They're dancing. They're dancing. Now stop, Max said and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely. And he wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around, from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up, we love you so. And Matt said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye and sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day and into the night of his very own room, where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. The end. Yay! Thank you.